did you remember the cinegraphic radar? Oh, gee. I'm sorry, Dr. Kessel. I forgot. You must remember these details. I've been picking up odd amounts of gamma radiation on my cinegraphic radar. I suspect the alien life form. Uh, we may discuss this at the lecture. Of course, Dr. Kessel. But, Dr. Kessel. Your mom said they had to do some chores this weekend and she didn't want you to give the le lecture. BJ, my boy, you must understand. A mother must in no way obstruct the tasks of a scientist. And BJ make it snappy. I want to go over the format of the lecture. Thank you. BJ, you know I like dark coffee. Buy me another one. for your everyday diet. In addition, they give you unwanted chemicals which go into your body system, thus diminishing your longevity. Even a simpleton like you should know that. Well, that sounds like a sufficient plan. Uh, what do I get to do? Do not fret, insignificant one. I will let you bring me my glass of water as I speak. I might even let you in my slide projector. Who knows? Why do you always treat me like your servant? I'm a genius too. I graduated from college at the age of 13. Ah, uh, yes, Bachwitz. But you forget, I graduated from Oxford as you graduated from Parkway. Remember, I'm the brain. Logic is the key. Forgive me, doctor. I must learn to control my emotions. Uh, Forgive me, I, I thank you for the privilege of being your servant. I mean, assistant. Quite all right, Bachwitz. Let's get out of the program. Um, it's approximately 2.47. Sing. Never call me by my first name, inferior child. My name is either Sir or Dr. Kessel to you. Nearly time for the lecture. Let's go. Shice, there's no threat in the briefcase. PJ! Why are you not carrying my briefcase? You, you gave me no orders! Your stupid incompetent mind must have forgotten. Run along now. Hurry up! Child, I am Dr. Kessel. What? 
It can't be because this guy, yeah, he had these glasses on with, with blonde hair and this orange shirt and he had glasses just like this. Blonde hair and scrub hair. Mom, Albert, will you please be quiet? I'm having a discussion. So, BJ is earning respect by using my name. I don't know who he is, he's wacko. No wonder he didn't get my briefcase. I'm gonna call him and give him a piece of my mind. Get my briefcase, that incompetent fool. Hello, Mrs. Bachwoods, get me BJ. monster to be a hex. And <coughs> I have proven 177 superstitions to be true in this country alone. Now, <coughs> tell me what happened. Yes, I understand that, but what are you exactly saying? What I'm trying to say is that the second Thursday, will you excuse yes. me for a second? Mom! Are we having banana cake for dessert? Not tonight. Damn, I love banana cake. Well, what I'm saying is that an alien abandoned by a ship took refuge in, say, Billy's garage. Yeah, yeah, that was the day he got his bike. I remember, it comes to me all back now. See, he must have hidden in a corner or something. And as Billy walked in, he must have killed him. Well, why would he kill him? To he take was over alive. The alien killed Billy to take over his body to fulfill whatever uh, he was supposed to do here on Earth. What was he, What was his plans? What was he going to do on Earth? I mean, I don't know yet. But I sure as hell plan to find out. <coughs> Let's take a look at our gamma radiation radar. <coughs> He's at the Champaign-Urbana water supply. He needs to poison the city's water supply. Of course, why didn't I think of that before? It's as easy as 3.14. Come on, son. We have a job to do tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. This is the basic battery, which attaches to this. And the brown wire comes over and it, it gives the basic gamma radiation signs, which I pick up on this uh, calculator. Um, and it basically just shows where, which direction I can find this goddamn alien.
Thank you. 